Feeny now offers a cable rail solution for projects using wood posts with a decorative wood wrap or composite wrap or sleeve. The cable rail fittings will attach to the inside faces of the termination posts. In this video, we'll show you how to install 1 8 inch cable rail in a stair railing frame with composite sleeved 4x4 wood posts using our special Quick Connect lag fittings. As an alternative, you may use Quick Connect pivot fittings. See our instructional video for cable rail installation for pivot fittings. Be sure to check with a composite manufacturer and your contractor to confirm that the frame materials and railing design can support the tension loads of cable rail infill. We've installed a Feeney Intermediate Picket to provide additional support for the cables mid-span between the sleeved posts. We will be using nine cable assemblies for our stair railing. Each finished cable assembly will have a non-adjustable Quick Connect lag fitting on one end and a Quick Connect lag swivel turnbuckle on the other end to adjust tension. Here is a list of the parts you will need. A spool of 1 8 inch Feeney cable rail cable, nine Quick Connect lag fittings, nine Quick Connect lag swivel turnbuckles. Each fitting comes with two hanger bolts, a short one that has two inches of lag thread for non-wrapped wood posts, and a long one that has two and a half inches of lag thread for wrapped or sleeved wood posts. We'll be using the long hanger bolt for this installation. Here are the tools needed for installation. Safety glasses, pencil, measuring tape, electric drill with half inch chuck, 9 inch drill bit, 7 inch drill bit, drill guide, hanger bolt installation tool, 7 inch socket wrench, high strength thread locking compound, quick connect release tool, sharpie felt pen, cable cutters, cable lacing needle, two 3 8 inch open end wrenches, Feeney Tension Gauge First, measure and mark all drill holes along the center line on the inside faces of the termination posts. Cables should be spaced no more than 3 inches apart. Make sure that the top and bottom cables are no more than 3 inches from the top and bottom rails. Confirm that all holes in posts and pickets are aligned so that the cable will run straight. On each termination post, use a 7 64 inch drill bit to drill angled pilot holes two inches deep into the wood posts. Then use a 9 30 seconds inch drill bit to drill angled holes through just the post sleeve. The angle we are using is the same as the slope of the stairs. On the top termination post, drive a hanger bolt into each pilot hole using a hanger bolt installation tool and either a socket wrench or electric drill. Be sure to leave one inch of thread exposed. Then install hanger bolts in the bottom termination post, also leaving one inch of thread exposed. Now it's time to install the Quick Connect fittings. The bottom termination post will have Quick Connect lag fittings, and the top termination post will have Quick Connect lag swivel turnbuckles. Start with the bottom termination post. Apply a drop or two of high strength thread locking compound to the threads. Spin the Quick Connect lag fitting onto the hanger bolt until it bottoms out. At the top termination post, we are installing Quick Connect lag swivel turnbuckles. Do not use a thread locking compound on these threads. First spin the lock nuts onto the hanger bolts. Then attach the Quick Connect lag swivel turnbuckle and rotate the body for complete turns. Do not use a thread locking compound on the Quick Connect lag swivel turnbuckle end or you will not be able to properly tension the cable. When all of the fittings are in place, we can begin installing the cables. Start at the top stair post with the Quick Connect lag swivel turnbuckles. We recommend using our cable lacing needle for threading cables through intermediate posts and pickets. The lacing needle prevents the cable from snagging on post holes. Thread the cable through the intermediate picket. When you get to the bottom termination post, be sure to remove the lacing needle. Insert the cable all the way into the Quick Connect lag fitting until it stops. The jaws will automatically lock on the cable. Return to the top termination post. Pull the cable taut to the cut line on the Quick Connect lag swivel turnbuckle. Mark the cut line on the cable, then trim the end using cable rail cable cutters. Loosen the turnbuckle two full turns. Insert the cut cable end as far as it will go into the turnbuckle. The Quick Connect jaws will lock automatically. 
hand tighten the turnbuckle as far as possible, then swiftly hit the cable line with your palm several times to ensure that the jaws are securely seated. Repeat this process for all cables. Once all the cables are installed, we are ready to begin final tensioning. Be sure to follow the recommended cable tensioning sequence to help minimize stress on the railing frame and easily adjust uniform tension across all of the cables. Start at the center cable and alternate until all cables are tightened. Use a pair of 3 8 inch open end wrenches to adjust tension at the quick connect lag swivel turnbuckles. Use one wrench to hold the body of the turnbuckle steady while using the other wrench to tighten the swivel end. This will ensure the cable does not twist. If your cables are still loose after tensioning, don't panic. You can disengage the quick connect jaws using our quick connect release tool. Slide off the rubber protector seal, then slide the release tool into the fitting. Pull the cable free and trim as needed. You may use a Feeney tension gauge to determine when you have tightened the cables enough. Once the cable is tensioned, tighten the lock nuts against the quick connect lag swivel turnbuckle to prevent it from loosening. Our railing is complete. For questions about your installation, visit our website or call us toll-free at 800-888-2418. Send in your finished project photos for the chance to win big cash prizes.